our first speaker um, will be Stephen Sosler, um, Senior Technical Advisor and Acting Head of Vaccine Programs at Garvey Secretariat. I'll wait. To, uh, hey, Hi, yeah. Stephen. <laughs> hey, Charlie. How are you? Very well. Uh, yeah. In, in, in 2018, um, Garvey made the decision to cover OCV in its vaccine investment strategy. Could you tell us a little bit about how the scientific evidence on the effectiveness of preemptive OCV campaigns informed that important decision? Sure, thanks Charlie for the question. And, and again, thanks to the organizers for the opportunity to speak to the group today. As Dr. Berkeley, uh, just stated in his introductory remarks, Gavi is engaged in helping to improve global health security and firmly believes in the power of data and evidence as a foundational principle to define public health priorities. Scientific evidence and data have paved the way for the Gavi board decision as part of our vaccine investment strategy to extend support for preventive vaccination in cholera hotspots. Current oral cholera vaccines are safe, effective, easy to administer and well accepted by recipient populations as evidenced by well-designed scientific studies conducted in several locations over the last decade. Equally important, well-documented experiences from countries that have used OCV are helping to inform and refine the best way to use this new tool. Indeed, this is well reflected by the examples provided by several countries today in this forum. Our accumulated knowledge uh, together with uh, adequate financial and technical support provided to cholera affected countries have allowed a steady increase in the use of oral cholera vaccines with more than 80 million doses administered since the creation of the, uh, of the global stockpile in 2013. However, it is important to recognize that against these achievements, there remain significant challenges to ensure that OCV is used optimally as part of multi-sectoral interventions promoted by the end cholera roadmap. Some of these challenges include competing priorities, which similar to nearly all public health programs have been exacerbated by the COVID-19 pandemic. In some instances, this has resulted in a deprioritization of cholera vaccination planning, while in others, questions are raised why standalone oral cholera vaccination campaigns are not better leveraged as a platform for integrated delivery of other essential health interventions, including other life-saving vaccines. Gavi's new strategy, Gavi 5.0, uses equity as an organizing principle and aims to leave no one behind with immunization. This represents a prime opportunity to address some of the above mentioned challenges, given the expectation that preventive OCV campaigns should benefit from multi-year planning and as such, be better suited to consider integration within, with other immunization opportunities. Core to the principle of equity in Gavi 5.0 is the imperative to identify and reach persistently missed children and communities. These children are often located in populations that suffer multiple deprivations, including lack of access to safe water, sanitation, and are at risk of exposure to cholera and other diarrheal and infectious diseases. This clearly represents an opportunity to bring together and align elements of the end cholera roadmap with Gavi 5.0 objectives, bringing more comprehensive approaches to healthcare service delivery with the final aim of improving health outcomes and the well being of populations. To achieve this goal, evidence generated through methodologically robust monitoring and evaluation activities will remain key. This evidence will allow us to adjust and optimize our current vaccination policies in order to ensure appropriate timing of revaccination to manage the risk of cholera transmission while continuous gains are made through long lasting wash improvements. I would like to my remarks by quickly reiterating Gabby's and partnership with countries and GTFCC to continue our coordinated efforts to reduce the threat that cholera represents to the most marginalized and neglected populations of the world. Charlie, I'll stop there. Thank you. <laughs>